to Venice when I was six years old, or my family moved when I was six years old and brought me with them. And I grew up here, I went to school here, and then when I was 18, I went to university in England, which is where I met my husband. My work has always been very portable because I write. So I'm lucky in that I divide my time between London and Venice because I feel like it's two absolute opposites. Life is slower here, it's unchanged, it's like a time capsule and I think that's really part of the charm. It really is like stepping back into a different era. We moved into this flat, my husband and I and our two boys, about four years ago now and we'd been looking for years and years and years to find somewhere that worked for us. I literally kind of walked through the door and it kind of something spoke to me, I was like, oh my God, it's my spiritual home. When we first moved in, the flat was kind of hadn't been lived in for years and a lot of the furniture that's here now was already here, but it was sort of in different rooms, kind of like opening up an old treasure chest or like a dressing up box or something. I kind of didn't know what was going to kind of come out. So we moved things around. It was quite fun, little touches and books and slowly with time, like the room and the flat started to feel more lived in and started to feel like ours. The walls here are kind of this beautiful fabric, but it is faded in patches and fraying in corners. And I kind of love that. I think it's really romantic. And like the ceiling is kind of this beautiful frescoes, but again, it's sort of cracking in parts. So it's kind of imperfect perfection. I love Christmas. Christmas is like my favorite time of the year. I'm absolutely obsessed with Christmas. I love the build-up, I love thinking about what I'm going to give people, I love wrapping presents, I love the food. So this is our living room and it's where the real Christmas moment happens, it's where the tree is. You can see in terms of decorations, it's not that much but everything is like very homemade and it's not particularly like perfect or snazzy but it all carries some kind of sentimental value. So like these stockings I really love. Um, my mother actually tapestried each one. This was me, a little thing of me in a toy shop with my name and then she's done one for each of the boys. I love these stockings. I mean I've had mine for 30 plus years now and the boys will grow up with theirs so they're really special. I made these chains with marbled paper. For the mantelpiece, the decoration's really simple, so I've kind of got these glass candlesticks with green candles. I love them, they're Murano glass candlesticks from my range for Tavola. And then some sort of scented candles with like touches of gold. I love pomegranates, I just feel like there's something innately Christmassy and kind of special and festive about them. So I just kind of scattered the pomegranates and some little pears and just really use like fruits and nuts and stuff for decoration sprigs of yew from the yew tree in our garden that I just like cut and added in. Candy canes which I'm like completely obsessed with. I have like all our Christmas cards that friends send us that mean so much to me. These baubles on the tree are actually were my mother's and they're all old Murano glass ones and she's had them for years and years and years. I kind of grew up with these on the tree so I love that they're like on my tree now. It's definitely a room that we use a lot more in the winter because it's a really cosy room, I think because of the kind of lovely rust-coloured walls that feel very kind of cocooning and dark. And at Christmas it's kind of perfect because they almost have this like gold sheen to them, which I think feels very Christmassy. They're fabric, they're the sort of really old and you can kind of see it's like, it feels so thin when you touch it and it's kind of fraying, but I love them. Most of the furniture was here when we moved in, like these big sofas and stuff, we just kind of moved them around to a slightly different configuration that feels a bit cosier. And then with time, we just started adding our own touches. I have my cushions that make it feel really cosy. So these were embroidered by my mother. I have that cushion over there that I love, the sort of like yellow and green one that's by my friend Luke Edward Hall. And I just, every time I look at it, it makes me smile and feel happy. And I feel like it brings like a pop of like playful fun to the room because the room could have always just feel a little bit like formal. Every year my husband gives me a family photo, usually in these frames from this paper shop that I love where they do all the marbling and they do it all by hand and they're like a really sweet couple. These old lamps were already here and then I just added the lampshade, the bits of orange sort of pick up the rust colour of the walls and I love the rich green, I think it's really nice like kind of contrast with the orange. And then just like various Murano glasses that we've collected or been given over the year and they're kind of colourful, I feel like they really add just the, a shimmer to the room. We'll usually do like Christmas breakfast 
here at our flat and have like a really cozy breakfast with like coffee and tea and maybe panettone and pastries and usually a pot of hot chocolate or something yummy like that. So this is our kitchen, which is definitely my favorite room in the house. And I'd say it's definitely the room in the flat that we spend the most time as a family. It's definitely where I spend the most time. It's where I work. There's just an energy to this room. This is the first room I walked into and I just knew I didn't care what the rest of the flat looked like. This was where I really wanted to be. A lot of the furniture was kind of already here. So this lovely old table with its massive slab of ancient scratched marble was here and we haven't moved it and I almost never put a tablecloth on it it's just such a beautiful surface to eat off this was like basically when we moved in it's like a really ugly plastic lamp and we just pinned these linen cloths over it and I think it's quite charming and the ceilings are really high in this room so it's quite nice having something quite grounding like the light that comes low above the table I have Lots of these jars that are made in Bassano del Grappa and they're old pharmacy jars. So I use this like to store coffee or to store salt in. I've got one for flour, one for pepper. Finding more creative ways of storing things. It's not hidden away in a cupboard and so it's lovely to have it in a jar and then that becomes something of beauty that makes my day happier. I love this as a present from a friend and it's like the most perfect present anyone's ever given me. It's a toast rack that's shaped like a gondola and it even rocks like a gondola. One of the things that I make every year for Christmas is my snowy panettone cake, which is basically, it's like such a cheats recipe. And there's a version of the recipe in my book table for friends as well. I make it every year and I love it. I love the way that food brings people together. Everything can be kind of collapsing and crumbling in your world and you can have a million emails to reply to, but somehow you can kind of lay a table and invite friends or your family or whoever to sit down to that table and prepare a simple meal. And in that kind of little space is just this perfect magical world. I, I just think I just love that. I just think that's like such a brilliant magic trick to have up your sleeve. So this is our breakfast room. It feels like a chocolate box. I love the walls. They're all stuccoed and they're these kind of perfect pale pastel colors that I absolutely love. And the decoration is incredibly kind of Rococo and feminine with like bows and flowers and swirls, which is just kind of like the dream for me. We usually have breakfast in here on Christmas morning. We'll always have like a pot of hot chocolate and a hot pot of like fresh ginger tea with honey. My husband usually likes coffee. And then we'll have like lots of pastries and the panettone, toast, jam, butter, kind of like a really big indulgent breakfast. Like it's kind of always like a really over the top kind of meal, but I always like it to feel really cozy as well. So even though the room could be quite formal because it's kind of over the top, the table's just like really kind of cozy, like kind of gingham check tablecloth and like chunky mugs and piles of pastry is just very cozy and indulgent. We'll always do a special supper on Christmas Eve and my favourite thing in the world is to like have friends over for lunch or for dinner so I was like this room has to be our dining room and I love it because it kind of feels very grand and like a party room. Walls are peeling away and you know kind of cracking but I kind of love that about it, it feels very ramshackle. I also love that the stucco is all kind of in ice cream colours. just feels like I'm kind of sitting in a room of Neapolitan ice cream. This is where we'll have Christmas lunch and I like to really go totally over the top with the table. Always at Christmas, that's something my mother's always done and I think I've inherited that from her. For like a proper, proper Christmas table, you want lots of candles because everyone kind of looks more glamorous by candlelight. I love to really like layer things up, so like small plates over like larger plates, different heights down the middle of the table, so like cake stands and small plates and larger dishes just piled high with extravagant sweet treats. And then I love adding like sweets and chocolates to the table because I think if there's a time of year to do that is 100% Christmas. Gold coins, biscuits, jellies. I love this thing that we have in Italy called cotognata, which is like a really sweet sugared quince paste. It's really delicious. Just anything that feels amaretti, anything that feels like 
delicious and spoiling and then more is a hundred percent more I don't think you can kind of go too overboard or put too much on the table I love old things like I love I'll always choose a vintage dress over a new dress I collect like 1950s or 60s 70s even 80s cookbooks like old editions the older the better and I love rediscovering older things and in a way kind of bringing them back to life or making them a part of my life today and I think that's what's most magical about Venice is it should be a museum but it's not you get to live in it and it's kind of like a dream.